Hello and welcome to another edition of the Iona College post-game wrap in Sacks, Jersey Joe Archino, the Iona men's basketball team defeating the Marist Red Foxes 90 to 80. Joe, a big difference between this matchup and the last time these two teams played right about a month ago, the Gales up in Poughkeepsie beating the Red Foxes 101 to 66. What was the difference between that game and this game? Well, I think you really saw the progression both teams have made throughout the season come on full effect in this game. Really from the defensive side, I think Iona's really improved tremendously in that regard. And they always had that ability to escape and go back to their offensive ways. Sometimes you just have to do that. The defense wasn't on their side tonight. But whenever you have Coach Clues, we know how as dangerous as offenses can be. You can always resort back to that. That's exactly what they did. They got a lot of offensive contributions tonight. That's a big way they were able to get this W. I'm proud of our guys tonight. Apparently we decided to stop playing defense and let's just make it a shooting battle. And it was a high scoring game. Maris played great. Uh, give them a lot of credit. Terrific team, terrific coach, and it was a fun game to be a part of. One of the biggest contributions, of course, you have A.J. English leading the way, 24 points, but one of the biggest, biggest contributions, Deshaun Much in his first game back from injury, 21 points, 6 rebounds in 26 minutes. Unbelievable. I mean, they only planned to play him for 10 minutes, but no, he was feeling it. He kind of wanted to get his legs ready for the gigantic matchup coming up next Friday, and he was feeling, I mean, if normally you're expecting some Someone is going to step up other than AJ. You're going to get contributions from somebody. I don't know how many people were expecting to get what they did from him tonight, but I don't think they could have won this game without his timely shooting. And that's the biggest thing I can say. It was not just the shooting to break up the rhythm. It's just in the critical spots, his shot was on. Can't say enough about how well he played tonight. The plan was to play 10 minutes today. And just see how, how, it, how it worked out. And after I played my 10 minutes, uh, he asked me, was I fine? I said, yes, I'm, I'm fine to go. So uh, I guess during the game, it, it got better. Um, obviously, like uh, without running on it and stuff, it's still stiff. So as the game went on, it kind of loosened up and got better. Dynamic post play also con contributing to this big win. Two players, two forwards with double figures. You, of course, you have Jordan Washington, 11 points, but he's hitting double figures in every game. But then you look at Taylor Bessick stepping into the starting lineup, 11 big points for him. Th those were really important points because we talked to Coach after the game, and he really said he, he needed a game like this to kind of get his confidence back because he really struggled finding that. And he's a guy who works like, tremendously hard. So they were all very happy he was able to have this performance. And again, Sometimes you just need somebody to step up. It doesn't matter who it's going to be. Iona is a very deep basketball team. Everybody on this team has a great offensive skill set. And sometimes it just comes out, and tonight was one of, those, one of those scenarios where they needed it from him, and he absolutely stepped up for them. Really happy because, you know what, we thought when we recruited him here that he was going to be able to bring the type of game he had tonight. And it seems like it was a baby step forward, two steps back, a step forward, two steps back. And we're just hoping for his sake because he works hard is that he was going to just have a good one so he can relax and enjoy it and feel good about himself. So I'm really happy for him. Joe, we turn our attention now to the next game. Everybody's been talking about it. The Monmouth Hawks coming into the Heinz Center. Iona 26 straight wins here, undefeated in the MAC. Monmouth has been getting a lot of attention from ESPN all across the nation as the preeminent team. It looks like they've been gaining so much attention throughout the, the first part of the season. How much of a matchup is this going to be on Friday night, national TV, ESPNU? Look, I think we're all salivating at the thought of this matchup. We've been waiting for it, and it's finally here. And this is a game that, you know, you just look at the tempos both teams like to play at. It's going to be great basketball to watch. Both teams really like to push the basketball. And when you look at Iona right now, I think they're in a good position because they've got their most important player back. A.J. English is back, and he's starting to get into more of a groove. They've got a couple days to get ready for this game. And if there's anything you can say right now, it's that they've kind of started to build that defensive mentality. It's starting to kind of come back. They're going to need that because, look, we always know, never fear. When you have Coach Tim Clues, you're going to score a lot of points. It's all going to come back to can you get contributions on defense? I think with a couple days off to get ready for this game, that will be a mentality of this team, and it's going to be such a show, and I can't wait for it. 
Well, nobody can wait, and it's just a few short days away. Friday night, right back here at the Han Center, Iona versus Monmouth. But that'll do it for today. Iona picking up a big win against the Marist Red Foxes, 90-80. to 80. For Jersey Joe Archino, I'm Ian Sachs, signing off from the Han Center.